Hi, I'm Rick Kearns with Federal Mogul Motor Parts Technical Support Center. Today we're going to offer a technical tip while cleaning caliper brackets to prevent any noise or premature pad wear. Spend some time here and get, make sure you remove the old guide plates or abutment clips. Once they have been removed, I'm going to offer another nice little tip. Uh, it's not always necessary, but from time to time I like to mark at least one of the guide pins. Uh, very often when you pull these guide pins out too late, I want to make sure that I grab my bracket there also. Uh, from time to time I will find a bushing. On this one I don't. I take this one off and sure enough there's a bushing here. Now not always will they fit. Like sometimes this will fit right in here and this one will fit here and you've got them reversed. But the engineers did design it in a particular manner so that you should follow um, put things back in their prospective places at that point. The next step we want to do is make sure that we thoroughly clean this bracket. All right? We want to make sure that we get rid of all the contaminants and any type of rust. If there are any birds under there, we want to make sure that we file that area. Uh, and this one doesn't look too bad. And then what we'll also do is clean the inside of the porch. Now if you have new boots or if these are torn or ripped or anything of that nature you want to replace those. If you're replacing the caliper very often you get a new bracket but um, very often this is serviced in the field, in the shop, spend some time, get the old material out of here, the old lubricants as much as you possibly can and then get some nice fresh lubricant in there. Now that we've got our caliper bracket all nice and clean, and it's wise to spend some time here to prevent any premature wear of the brake pads or any noise that could occur, take the time and clean these caliper brackets very well. Then what you want to do is take some silicon lubricant or high temperature molybdenum. You've got to make sure that it is a high temperature grease because we are dealing with some severe temperatures. And what I do is put a dab right where the abutment clips or guide plates are going to go just to prevent any future rusting coming into play. So I'm going to put a little lubricant here and so forth as you see here and then we're about ready to put our guide plates in place. And then make sure you've got them positioned correctly. You can make sure that the little tabs are in the right spots and then you can put the next one on and they should fit nice and snug and I'll flip this around for you. In this, in this case, it's a special guide plate that is right incorporated into the uh, abutment clip or guide plate to hold the pad from rattling or making any noise. So that's got to be in the correct position. You can see that if I tried to put this on, it would be in an incorrect position at this point right here. So make sure that you do position these correctly so that they don't interfere with the rotor and cause excess noise. Now we've got our lubricant inside, do a double check, make sure our boots are in good shape. We've got some lubricant on our pins, get those in place here, make sure the boot grabs a hold of the guide plate. Now sometimes this can be tricky because you've got lubricant in there and you get into a hydraulic lock. This one moves freely, the bushing's in the correct spot, and we're ready to go. We're ready to install it on the vehicle itself. So that's our technical tip when cleaning caliper brackets. Spend some time here, get some lubricant on here. I'll also put just a little bit of lubricant where the pad is going to ride so that it has good free movement. And I'll put a little bit here. And on each spot, wherever the pad is going to contact those guide plates or abutment clips so that we have good, smooth, clean operation. This will avoid premature pad wear or potential noise, whether it's a squeal or a growl or whatever it may be.